Hey guys, welcome to Advices Media. This is the hands-on review of the Nokia Asha 311 mobile phone that comes with the S40 platform and this has got a 3 inch capacitor touch screen. So it's basically a very small and thick device actually. This is a 12.9 mm thickness of the device, but the device is quite comfortable in the hands. And this is a 3 inch capacitor touch screen that you are seeing on the front side. Uh, let's talk about the specifications and the external specs are a 3.2 megapixel camera that doesn't have a flash to assist and on the top there is a 3.5mm headset jack the micro usb port and this is the port for the charger on the right is the volume rocker keys and this is the lock of power key so this is the lock of power key and on the left side you will see nothing else on the bottom there are two physical keys one is for the call and one is for the end option and this is the lock screen you are seeing uh, let's open up the device from the back side this is the PL4U battery that's exposed when you open the back cover and you need to remove the battery in order to place the sim card or the micro SD card for the memory expansion this is the lens for the camera so let's place back the cover and uh, This is the speaker, speaker area just below the back cover so you don't have the speakers just underneath the back cover here. So let's go on with the review actually see the, the device has got a 1 gigahertz uh, processor and it has got an S40 platform and this is the lock screen where you directly can unlock this device or if at all you have seen any notifications you have any notifications of 100 messages or calls then you can directly click on that notification hold it and move that to directly reach that application for the notification display and to be checked so this is a pretty vibrant touch screen it's like the bouncy interface where you see something similar in the iPhone and these are all the pre-installed applications the social networking apps like Facebook, Twitter, Awkward, Whatsapp, Nimbus and Zomato these all come pre-installed and there are a few games also the Angry Birds, the Green Farm, the Real Football Demo and the FIFA 12 so these are all the pre-installed applications that you would see in the phone and uh, one of the disadvantages would be the absence of flash for the camera the 3.2 megapixel camera has got a quite good capture quality where the background and surroundings are quite bright and this is the notification panel it has got a pretty good uh, curvy design on the bottom so this is similar to the android devices where you can open the notification by pulling it down from the top uh, it would show the notification for the network on the top and there are the connectivity shortcuts below it uh, this is for the mobile network, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth and the sound profile. Click on something, it would directly open it on the main screen. Mobile data off. So the not notification panel would disappear and it would take you to the app pages. And basically there are three home screens here. One of them is the home so you can edit and add more shortcut applications here, shortcut for the apps where you can reach directly this is the entire app list and moving it further to the right you will see the phone application the dialer you can dial the number and the touch response is pretty neat here you can see how well the phone is responding to the touch and directly from the phone application you can go to the log the call log here and this is the contact area so hit back and you reach back to the app list menu so this is the call key where you can go to the phone application so this is the camera the 3.2 megapixel camera that we are talking about it has got a pretty neat quality of capturing but it doesn't have a manual focus option so you need to just rely on the camera's auto focusing and uh, we are actually not much impressed with the capture 
in the indo in the indoors and it is something better when you are capturing the pictures in a background where it's quite bright and this is all thanks to the absence of flash the video quality is not that good it's a 480 pixel screen resolution and you can see quite a bit of lag while the video might be captured so the 1 gigahertz processor is still quite enough for the S40 platform in this device and it is registered with the 128 MB of RAM so for the price of around 7000 rupees in the Indian market the Nokia Asha 311 is quite worth it but uh, when you compare it with any other low range Android devices also that's like uh, the Samsung Galaxy Y which come in the same price range you can either go with the Galaxy Y or any other alternative device that comes with the Android OS because the S40 is still a limited platform not like the Android which is uh, quite customizable and open but for an end user who likes Nokia this could be a pretty good choice for devices uh, and it's quite a lot better than the Nokia 3, Asha 305 which was the earlier version to this this was the review of the Nokia Asha 311 keep checking our channel for the other videos and uh, reviews Thank you.